and I was just like, oh my god, how in the grace of God. Like, if, if you would have done that, I would just drop everything back. Oh, I, mean, I know. I know. Mean, I know. I was like, well, fuck. I, I should not have ran the emperor into it. That was a gamble. I was just like, oh, wait, I, I got it, right? Yeah, I got it. No, I didn't have it. But then I just got really lucky. Yeah. So. It's okay. Good game. Here. 
And uh, actually, actually want to interrupt, interrupt, interrupt the intermission. So we're interrupting the intermission. I got Emo Tempest here. here. What's up, guys? So, so this guy is the content creator of Emo Tempest channel. channel. I'm, I'm sure you can see the name right there. So when you're not busy watching the channel, you can actually check out his content. Cool stuff. He's got everything from deck discussions, deck theories, and just what combo plays there. Yeah, we got some new combo videos. We got a lot more stuff. We're going to cover definitely this tournament. And, you know, I want to say thanks to the Kurtzville for letting us have this set up here. And, you know, hosting the event all together. And we're going to be doing Boston next week. So that's another thing. Absolutely. We're not going to be streaming, but we will be, you know, we're going to be back. We're both going to be there. So we'll have to turn more both of us probably, as well as, you know, some new content talk about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it looks like we do have some terrible activities. Um, so, so trying, trying to get, to get the program, like I said, we're, we're actually, it's, it's, all, all this is very, very makeshift. makeshift, it's, it's very, very like last, last minute. minute. So, so once, once again, again, we do apologize, so let me go ahead and do something on that. Yeah, thank you. We have a good term for the setup we have, thank setup. The thank setup, yeah. So anyway, if we, uh, yeah, so... We're just waiting for round three to start now, guys. Giving a little intermission. In the meantime, we'll be back. Uh, yeah. Thanks also to Max Williams for you know doing the interview. Max Williams, a foil enthusiast. Foil that enthusiast. guy, man. Can't hey. forget about that. <laughs> you guys have seen him. Uh, you, most of you probably know him. And if you don't, well, you, I'm sure you will. Yeah, you will. I mean, he's he's definitely one of the voices that you want to know of and, the community. Uh, yeah, uh, of the community. So for sure, you're always gonna get it. So yeah, man. Well, Emo Tempest, thank you for joining us. Yeah. By the way, how are you doing in the tournament? Um, We're in the second round then already. Okay, second round, I'm going 1-1, one, one, first one, uh, last round one, uh, one round two. Um, I overplayed, overextended on game one, and I dominated game two. Okay, great. So how do you feel about going into your next matches? Um, if I open realm, I'm confident. If I open backups, we're still good. Because when I don't open either a backup or realm, we're not doing good. Alright, guys. Alright, alright. Notorious voice, yes. <laughs> That's the problem, is that once they start coming out, you know you're in a bad situation. Yeah, yeah. So you start dropping, like, I dropped two damage just because a uh, uh, foil pile on hit the field. So that, that, that just happens. So... What's up, guys? Hi to everyone here watching. See, there's 13. <laughs> yeah, of course there's a chat. I forget. I don't, I don't stream. We haven't done this yet. This is the first time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we are first-time streamers. I've never done anything. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's like one of those, like... <laughs> Humble confessions. Yeah, yeah. This is... Uh, this is Foil Confessions 101. So let me tell you. Yeah, Foil Confessions. Oh, foil, you want a real Foil Confession? No. Nothing in my deck is Foil. Yeah, we actually. Get this guy off the street. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're done. You're done. Right, get out of here. I'll see you after round four. Alright, guys. Hey, stick around. We got more games coming up, guys, okay? So, uh, yeah. Hey, let us know in the comments of what we're doing, what you want to know. And if our audio sucks, let us know as well, alright? Yeah, so, that's right. let us know. We're going to do our best. <laughs> we're going to try to do our best. It's uh, really hot in here. We're working on uh, Wi Fi connection, public Wi Fi. So, yeah. it's going to be a little bit spotty. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, let us know what we're doing. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever it is that people do. You don't have to do that. It's just watch. So we'll see you soon. Bye.
Up on the <laughs> Thank you. 
so a lot of people doing stuff, so we're just going to start. Um, yeah, I'm going to ask them if they want to be trying to get my connection the right way. Oh, we might as well just start. Alright, then. Let's do this. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. I will keep. I will also keep. That does not mean to be. No, you just, yeah, it's kind of And we'll do, because I've misplayed that. That is the way we're going to do it. Can I record it? By all means, please go ahead. I just want to double check everything that's going on. Can't be controlled by summon. Summon for 18,000. Hello. Alright, my turn. You got it. It's alright. I'm going to my card, so let me just do it. I'm expecting the Adele poke. Ting me with Garnet. Ready? So, you yeah, can um, I'll activate Lucy and get the plus one plus one. Or get both of them. I think you're both getting plus a thousand. Oop. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Yuna, and let's bounce the Dell back to her. Oops. Is that going to be all we do here? That is. Tap no no to 
make a friend. Try to be here as your hand. Please discard pain. Yep. And I will pass the turn. <laughs> Forget her triggers. <laughs> awful at it, so I'm like, I have a no no, I'm like, don't forget the no no, don't forget the no no. Like, so you're about to get hit really, really hard. 
I'm actually digging this. I like it a lot. Yeah. It looks, it's yeah. super yeah. limited. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about now is the Diabolus. Diabolus. I'm running two of them. Diabolus one. Uh, Diabolus one in my first game. Um, well, I won my first game on the turn. I won it on. And then my second game, in Fortnite just didn't draw. Like, yeah. I can't even say that I played well. Yeah. And I misplayed in that game. But he just did not draw. And then I just, he, I actually silked him. Because he was like, I'm going to hit content trade something. And I went, and I'm going to silk. Yeah. And he went, well, yeah. that's the, that. The game like, is like, no, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Not, not yet. Not yet. Right. Let me, let me, let me give me a minute. The, 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 the game that uh, I played next to you over there. Yeah. Um, I did basically almost the same thing that you just did there. Yeah. I think Adele was six of the seven damage. The last one being Adele drop on the same turn. Yeah. And being able to just activate on the other moment's notice, even when you don't have yeah. another one. No, no, man. I just, it was like, I was I'm like, not oh, sure I'll just play it out and sleep I'm not sure if it's the Adele with the OP one or if it's the no no with the OP one. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking almost it's no no. Because that boy does so much damn noodles. Thank <laughs> you. 
Max here with uh, Andy Carmona. <laughs> yeah, hi everyone. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Thanks for having me, Max. I really, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, so if I remember correctly, you were on the Desert Island. Six, no, seven tarantulas in hand. Was it seven? Yes, seven tarantulas. Tell me how you overthrew the government. Well, uh, you know, everything starts small. I mean, it took a few weeks for them to learn literacy, but after that, I just had to be able to train the system. Okay. Uh, there was a small jungle. Quickly, they overwhelmed that. All right. And then, uh, future generations that come kind of did it from there. At that point, I just retired because my work was done. And that's how you play Model Earth, ladies and gentlemen. All right.
How's the uh, event training going? It's doing good. It's doing good. We're having a lot of fun judging and kind of overseeing everything. Everyone's just having a great time, which is what I always like. I mean, we're here as a community together. This isn't so much a competition. It's just we're all here to be here. Oh, yeah. And that's really positive. And that's one of the best things about this game. It's just always positive. Exactly. How do you feel about the venue? Um, it's interesting. Uh, there is uh, not a lot of ventilation, but other than that, uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, we're actually making do here. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this place. We're making it happen. I actually kind of like it. It kind of feels like I'm a rich dude in a mansion, and I just invited all my friends over for a TCG. And it's kind of what it does feel like. This is literally just the Co Andy's Cabana Clubhouse. So that's Andy's kind of cool. Cabana Clubhouse. Hold on, hold on. We are going to go ahead and change this chat name. Do it. I like that. <laughs> Andy's Cabana Clubhouse. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. No, but I mean, like, to be honest, it's, I don't know. I, I get a good vibe out of it. I, I do too. I mean, there's like lots of positivity going around here. Like, no one's complaining. There's no one just like, oh, I don't want to be here anymore. I think it's I hate John's pizza. Exactly. It's like, I don't want to pay 50 cents for some cool stuff, crackers, or something. Like that. <laughs> it's great. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, next item on the agenda, I believe you asked the question, but we need to ask you Coke or Pepsi? Coke, 100%. Not close. You heard it here first, guys. Coke. That's right. None of that pop or soda or any of you northerners up there. <laughs> Coke. Oh, we call it Coke in the South. Doesn't matter where it is. It could be a Sprite. It's a Coke. Exactly. Let me tell you, on a more serious note, I'm seeing some crazy tech from Opus 5. Dude, Opus 5 is sweet. I'm, I'm like looking around and seeing like none of the deck I expected to see is here. Yeah. Uh, everything else is. Where is Earth? Honestly, no, I, thought, I thought there's tons of Earth. It's just like, it's just scattered it? everywhere. Everyone's standing on it. I didn't see it. I, I, I don't you know. haven't seen it? That's good. Oh, exactly. I think that's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I, think what I'm, I think what I'm playing... Uh, has a better advantage. I mean, it's mono lightning, so I mean, a lot yeah. of the guys are brave. I can also sit down, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, that does work against them. I mean, I, I think there is actually a good earth build against lightning, yep. but I don't think that's here. So that's, I think that was here. Yeah, it's here. I mean, I don't think it would look at like the last week's event and be like, you know what? Mono earth won that. It didn't even beat mono lightning in the finals. Mono earth's my deck. I'm gonna crush Andy. They didn't do that. <laughs> they came no. here, they're playing their wet water, their choke foods, everything. I mean, there's all kind of cool decks here for Opus 5. Absolutely. The absolutely. Paradise. Who else in Paradise? <laughs> Don't even mind me. <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> the dark <laughs> deck. He went outside yeah. to the darkness and played in his realm. He <laughs> lured someone in and crushed them. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's like I said, it's, there's so much tech out there. It's, I mean... Does I'm grabbing a card. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Aside from some crazy twins that are popping up, I'm not saying any names, they're just twins. <laughs> Male and female. Thing. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm seeing a bunch of the wind stuff, the stuff that I wanted to do. I wanted to build the wind so bad, and I'm just, like the worst wind pilot. Well, you know, as you know, it's the one one of the two colors I primarily play. My, uh, my one of my main testing partners locally, he's built mono wind, and he's got his own little choco deck, and he's feeding people with it. I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> Opus Five is great. I mean. There's wind got a lot, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 getting to the point now where it's you're not seeing a normality. What you're seeing is people branching off, and not putting staples that used to be good in Opus Two Opus Three. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh man, I'm at the point now, so my decks, like, I don't even want to want min with some of my water, like, water-based decks. And that sounds ridiculous. Like, you might be like, Max, you're insane. Nice you have oil in min -wiz. Why would you do this? But, like, there's some decks where you just don't need it. Or, like, decks where, like, you're gonna, the damage you're going to take is just going to kill it anyway, so why do we need it? Or it's just like, you're, you have to play aggressive because of the way the game's going right now. Why do I need to hide behind stuff? Because they're just chocoboing me and stuff, so why do I need min -wiz? We have a little new min -wiz. we got front locks, it's a Moogle, so... I just, I'm just worried we're about to reach the critical mass of Moogle's first Chocobos with like <laughs> Moogle art, Chocobo art, and it's, it could just drive the community in half. Like, wise words from the wise man. <laughs> Honestly, though, the, one of the best things about this game, and even more echoed in this set, is that it is so diverse. Yeah. It, I agree. You can't just like look at it as like the only three things you can play are mono earth, mono lightning, and mono water. Like, exactly. You can literally play whatever you want, and if you're good enough pilot, it'll do good. Exactly. That's how I feel, and I feel going into this, it's like you're going to see different combos, you're going to see a lot of different card interactions. You don't forget about your buddy's death back in Opus 1 on this too, but you are going to definitely see some crazy interactions. Some combos 
and you know, he didn't know quite existed, or just didn't know how well they performed now with different cards on board. Are you still running both Odin's? And you're not, I don't know, I have the view list, but do you run both Odin's from this one? No, now I'm just back to uh, uh, seven, seven cost Odin. Yeah, see? Yeah, just the expert. Before, like, the, the first three cards I put on Mono Water Deck were Odin 4, so I mean, like, now we're just kind of moving away from that. Yeah, and even then, I started to look at that three cost, the Opus 5 Odin, that's good. And it's got some versatility, and I think that's that's yeah. the problem. It's like, well, you need to start adding more versatility. You gotta start thinking, okay, these cards are gonna be brand in decks. We're talking sisters, you know, we're talking yeah. you know, lower cost, we're not talking the simple. Yeah, it's the, the steady four cost, five cost, I mean, you still got those going on. Yeah. You're, gonna have, you're gonna have different strategies where people are gonna start hiding behind their cards, hiding behind their monsters, exactly. hiding behind uh, a lot of more abilities. You know, so, so just like at that point when we even discuss the card economy, it's like when I can like, yes, I could play open board and probably do the same thing. But can I do it for cheaper? Oh wait, we do, and this card has more modes, more things. And then we look at it, it's like, oh wait, look at all these three drops. Like I mean I think Earth is still like the I'm the four I'm mono four drops, but everything else has still got a wide variety of three. So I mean soon, you're like you're saying, it's just it's always something to keep in consideration. Yeah, yeah. So I'm noticing now that it's you know, so let, let's go back to monsters. So a lot of the colors got their two drops on summon. Yes. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is not being played. It's Tom Perry. <laughs> I feel like that's the key one because I mean, we go on a tangent and just talk about all the cards and just search for other cards. Yeah, there's a lot of that happening right now. That's the one card that stops us. Well, at least cancels the... It cancels... Well, and they get the summon, but it breaks the card. They lose their inherent advantage, because that's right. the thing. No one's no one's playing with like, a search for fixing. It's just like, I play my sets or I grab a guy. I play my I set on my uh, Steiner and get a guy. Exactly. And you're just like, okay, now you lose your forward. Exactly. No, now you lose your backup and searches for a guy. Like, what? If you play a three drop, like, if you play Ico and get Steiner, and, I, and you lose your Ico doing that... What are you doing? You like how you're gonna recently discard two more to get your Steiner, you gain nothing out of it. Exactly, exactly. Like, okay, you're put in a position where my Steiner now becomes six CP. Because I cannot play my Steiner. My and I feel like that's that's very crucial. Everything else seems to balance itself. Now it took me a while to figure it out. It's not great at math, but yeah, so we're talking black knight and three bubble uh, those are cards that may seem like negative, but you're actually kind of balancing this. I game. think Bubble is actually pretty strong, however, it's just the way everyone was talking about online was not right. Like, turn one, it is a watch, but like, when you get to like that weird turn four and you just kind of play it normally, and like everyone has like three cards in their hand, that's pretty impressive. Yep, yep. You're like, you have two backup, you use uh, Realm, Realm yeah. it, now you have it. Or, or they like play their own, and they kill it, and I'm like, I'm ecstatic. I'm like, oh, wonderful, you just, you just use this kill spell. My I went. I went a whole week with having the one cost problem uh -huh. uh, in my deck just because I hated that card so much. <laughs> and then I realized it was like, all right, Andy, grow up. Look, it's not that bad. <laughs> Pitch the cards, oh, thank you, you know, so. and uh, and yeah, just gonna just uh, continue playing the game because guess what? You're at the same number of cards. It's it, it hasn't changed much. The game state has not changed the point where it's like you're losing. Yeah, you're losing cards that you don't want to lose. Right. Well, they're taking the choice good. away from you, but that's not the end of the world. Exactly. Because when that happens, and guys, this is, this is definitely a, a, a tip when fighting against it. Don't give up. Build your board. Because what's going to end up happening is that character that you play, they're losing a character on board. So you're kind of, you know, balancing it out. And, it's, uh, and it works really well. So don't fight. And yeah, you're pitching cards that you don't want to lose, but you're not negative from it. That's absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, just me. I was just like, I look at my hand. I was like, oh, like I want to play my my backup red mage, but now I gotta pitch my Alcid and whatever I have. Kill the brand. It's like, well, that kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. It, it, you know, you get built from it. Um, it just what happens is you're not guaranteed to do damage um, the first two to three turns. So what ends up happening is. You just gotta build up your resources again and then kind of score from that. Now, if your opponent is having a deck where he's just using your effect, like Max said, by turn four, by turn five, if they're playing that for three and they're getting the advantage on it, uh, you're, you, you are gonna start becoming negative. Yeah. You start gonna start dropping two cards, two cards each turn, uh, plus whatever other effect that they have, so it's like lock, Genesis, and using your cards. And that's just the, the ice rant. So, I wanna talk about Hill Giant. Because to me, I didn't have like the 
my god, what the heck uh, thought for Buck Moon. I had mine for Hilgiggas. Or Hilgiggas, whatever he's called. <laughs> he's a, a giant. He's field. a giant. He's yeah, that's right. That card, man, no one's playing it, but like, that card, like, I look at that card and I, like, sweat a little bit. Because, like, I, there's so many of those types of effects that I use, and I just, like, get rid of it. And primarily, that card to me reads, one one CP, break a four your opponent uses because they didn't read this card was out. <laughs> and that's, like, kind of scary, because, like, some people will just, like, play their stuff all the way on the other side of the field. You won't see it. It'll be hidden under a back of the, like, wait a minute. Yeah. I just, like, play it on top of their midway. It was, like, you fell into my trap. Like, what, what just happened? That's not even a zone. Was that from last round? It's, uh, yeah, look, I was reading him, and I'm just like, this is actually pretty good, because, yeah, exactly, you catch people off guard, you, uh, you kind of just kind of, like, you set it, and you forget it, like, you just have it there, it's, it's gonna cancel something, your opponent's not gonna read it, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna cause you to kind of gain that moment up again, and with Earth, like I said, with new Earth cards, you're constantly getting momentum because you're not losing the blue, I think that's kind of pretty good. <laughs> and you, there you go, and you just be corrected. So, uh, I just yeah. play three, four mana three threes for all my life. That's just all I want. So, guys, just for the yeah, Hill Giant is that MTG tech. So, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from uh, Max Williams. Right. This right. Hey, so we're going to get uh, yeah. round six started, right? Yeah, we just finished up this round here. I'm going to go reconcile everything, get everything going. Come back and join us for the final Swiss round before we move into top cut. Thanks a bunch, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. So once again, yeah, we're going to move into round six. We're going to get this situated. We're almost done. We're really sweaty. So uh, stick around. We appreciate you guys. We love you. Thank <laughs> you. 